All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give our praise to Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. Let's lock it real quick. Let me do this. All right. This is the brother Bala. Come to another video in the spirit. On the top of this video, is going to be about um, basically what it says. It says, do no evil, shall no harm come to thee. You know? And what sparked this video was um, I watched uh, the other big guy, you know, do um, a video. Uh, and it was, it wasn't on this topic, but this is just one of the precepts he brought out, and uh, it just sparked me to do a video about it. So I'm gonna get straight into it. It's a Sirach seven and one. It says, "Do no evil, and do no evil, so shall no harm come unto thee." Con, you know that's just plain and simple. You know you out here not doing evil, you know, and you're trying to please your by Shimmy out shy man, and he's gonna allow no harm to come to you. Okay, but the other people in the world they don't they don't understand that they couldn't grasp this scripture. Okay, because what they 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 do evil and live wickedly every day, and they wonder why things happen to them or or why they are they fucked up or why they positions that they're in, because they're not they're not taking account of their own actions or what they're doing. Okay, and that's because they don't know Yahweh Hashem Shai, and ultimately they don't fear Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, they they think that they think shit is sweet when it comes to the Lord, but it's not. And the Lord, and the Lord, he's showing you that it's not every day, man. I just seen um an article on a little uh social media platform, one of the news platforms, that a brother just shot his brother over just an argument, okay. And I'm pretty sure that that's judgment that the Lord passed, but you know I'm pretty sure you know, it, man, they they wasn't they're not they were not here serving you how about Shemuel shot. So, but you can see that's an example of just how the Lord. Is uh is is judging people out here, man. I'm gonna come over here. This Ecclesiastes eight and five. It says, "Whoso keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing, and a wise man's heart discern both time and judgment." Con, you know, if you're keeping the commandments, then why, what are the commandments? You know, you know the scriptures, man. The law, statutes, and commandments that Yahweh Shimon Shai has has told us through these scriptures, man. The only way you're gonna learn the commandments is if you read. Okay, it's that simple. If you're not reading, then you don't you don't know the commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, everybody think it's just the Ten Commandments. No, okay, there's there's a, there's a lot of them. Uh, the whole book of uh, Leviticus, I believe, it's six hundred and eleven, but don't quote me on the exact number. But it's over six hundred plus laws. Now, now we know that we can't keep them all, but there's ones that we can do. As far as not not eating pork, not eating swine, you know, not smoking. You know, not to find your temple. Um, uh, not committing adultery, man. I it's uh not worshiping other guys. You know, it's stuff that we can do that you should be doing. But what you got, Jake out here that don't want to do that. Okay, Jake want to continue to live wickedly and make, and and be part of this society. So as long as you continue to do that, the Lord is going to allow things to continue to keep happening to you. This is Psalm ninety one. I'm going to read at verse 9. It says, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. It's so like it said, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Con. Okay, so if you... If you Make your refuge in that in your habitation and your habit shimmy on shot. Okay, the Lord's gonna protect you. You know, it says as in uh, Psalms thirty four and seven. Okay, the angels of the Lord come around about them who fear them. And now when that comes down to you fearing your habit shimmy how shot. Okay, if you don't fear your habit shimmy how shot, then shit, he's gonna make you fear him. Okay? Well ultimately he'll he'll kill you, he'll take your ass out. He'll show you why he is Yahweh Shimmy How Shot. Okay? Well ultimately if you out here, you know, seeking, you have you seeking the Lord, you know, uh, rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, and doing everything is sincere, you know, the Lord's gonna, He's gonna protect you. Now, yeah, we're gonna still catch our hell. We're gonna go through things we gotta go to go through because that just comes with it, okay? Because that's us being tried. But ultimately, you know, the Lord's gonna protect us from any major type of uh, any major type of danger, okay? Because so we don't under we don't understand it. We don't receive the things that the Lord protects us from on a daily basis. Okay.
You know, we don't, we, we don't. But us just having that confidence and that faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, that he's doing it, he's, 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 he's it's happening. Okay? Uh, I know, I heard brother say that every brother got at least one, one angel just around him at all times. Okay? And we don't know what people see when they look at us. Okay? We don't know. We don't know what animals see when they look at us, man. We don't know. But we just having that faith that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has us covered. You know, as long as we do our part. Uh, this is Proverbs 12 and 21. It says, There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Con. And we go into that word, mischief. It says, Bad, evil. Bad, disagreeable, malignant, bad, unpleasant, evil, giving pain and happiness, misery, evil, displeasing. Uh, uh, go down to G, sad and happy, F, worse, then, worse. Now, the word there is a 87451 is Ra. I should have started off with that, Salaki. Okay? And that's what that word goes into. Okay? Misery, unhappiness. You know, and that's what the wicked is getting. That's all I can. Going right down to it. That's what the wicked is getting. It says, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. And that's what they're being filled with. You know, unhappiness. You know, sadness. You know, misery. Why? Because they're choosing to live wickedly. They're choosing to live contrary to the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. It says, but that shall only happen to the just. Who is the just? You know, the man's out here on the highways and byways and the ones out here who's doing the Lord's will, man. That's the just who's who's trying to, who's out here seeking to please Yahweh B'Shem Shai, you know. Not trying to move in the wrath, not trying to move in the anger, not provoking the Lord. Those are the just, man. Okay? And the Lord willing, we, the Lord endures, allows us to endure to the end. He continues to protect us all the way to the end. The Lord willing, that we're, that we're able to receive salvation. That's the ultimate. That's the only reason why we're doing all of this. That's the main reason why we're doing all of this. And so we can receive salvation, man. So, keep that in mind. You know, I'm not saying, you know, brothers out here don't look to be evil, but understand that we have Yahweh Hashem Yahweh on our side, man. And and understand, and understand the reason why we have this hedge of protection over us. And don't take it for granted. Okay? Continue. This, this uh, scriptures like these and, and videos like these, you know, should... uh. You know, it should be comforting knowing that we, that we have the angels looking over us, you know, and that we have the Lord out here protecting us as long as we're doing our part. So continue to do our part. Continue to serve the Lord. Continue to serve the Lord in sincerity, man. And continue to seek him and continue to continue to want to please him. So that's pretty much it. And also, I want to say this and continue to fear. Yahweh Shem Ask the Lord to continue to keep that fear on you. Okay? So that's pretty much it. Or when this video is at a final close up, we're going to pray to see how Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakakadash, Shalom.